Well, thank you, Mary, for that extremely kind and generous introduction. It's nice to be with a president that I can agree with as much as I do with you. <laughs> Mayor Barrett, I've had the good chance and opportunity to work with him for North Adams for 23 years, even longer. He is one of my favorites, the mayor. He's tireless in his commitment and devotion to this wonderful education institution and to the people of North Adams. We're very lucky to have a North Adams, Berkshire County, Massachusetts. It's always a good pleasure to see you. Raises aspirations, 
ensures access, values lifelong learning, and takes advantage of the power of technology. The report goes on to stress the importance of lifelong learning, better education in technology, and a social policy among employers to encourage civic engagement. It refers to Tom Friedman's book, The World is Flat, and acknowledges that the needed way forward for the Berkshires is to concentrate more on education by creating a 16-year continuum from kindergarten through college as the norm, not the exception, for every student in the Berkshires. I'd like to see Congress embrace this goal at the federal level as well, and I think listening to Amanda Woodrow, she would too. We need to make our highest priority a world-class education for every American. That means a genuine commitment to prepare every man, woman, and child for the new world of intensifying competition and sophisticated technology. It means a future where America competes with other nations, not by reducing employees' pay and outsourcing their jobs, but raising their skills. In recent years, however, it's been difficult, struggle, to maintain even current levels of investment. Reduction in funds for education will only make the current trend worse, not better. More than ever, we must see that students graduate from high school and go on to get a college degree. In 1950, when I graduated from school, only 15% of the jobs required post-secondary training. Today, the number is over 60 and rising rapidly. Shamefully, we're witnessing a growing gulf in college attendance between the rich and the poor. Each year, 400,000 college-ready students don't attend a four-year college because they can't afford it. Never before has the financial challenge of college been greater for young students. The least we can do is guarantee that cost is never a barrier to college education. Many families, and I'm sure many of you here today, have had to make a real sacrifice to enable you to complete your education. The cost of college is particularly high for New England families, and student debt is skyrocketing, up 39% for public school to college students in the past dozen years. Your education at MCLA has given you skills and knowledge to help keep America strong and prosperous for your generation. But too many other talented young men and women will never have the opportunity to celebrate a college education. One of my highest priorities in the Senate is to see that all young students can afford to do that and can freely follow their passions in their careers and not feel the unwanted pressures of continuing concern about paying for their degree. I especially commend your commitment here to community service and service learning. President Kennedy would be proud of you for asking not, and so am I. Your Center for Service and Citizenship has dedicated itself to giving back to the Berkshires community. I understand that over the past four years, from food and clothing drive to volunteering throughout the community, MCLA students, faculty, and staff have volunteered nearly 29,000 hours of work in community service. A remarkable accomplishment. And your commitment to service learning, time community service, the classroom work, is a model for other schools to follow. Believe me, what happens at MCLA is of enduring importance for the well-being and the future of the nation. You did not make the world you live in, but you have the chance to change it, to face the global challenges head on and leave the world better than you found it. It's not hard to look around these days and see many things wrong with our country and our planet, from Iraq to Darfur, and these crises over energy and health care and global warming. But I urge you to live by the old proverb. It's better.